Hello world. Welcome to another mashup review. This is mashup review 13. We're gonna have a blast here. Eat a donut to take the pain away. That's what we're all about. We have a lot of mashups to cover. We have a lot of ground to cover. And I'm ex super excited to just get some fresh, like, new mashups to listen to. I am excited. Let's do this. This is gonna be fun. Starting off, we have Anarchy with uh, Lemon Demon and Portal mashed up. Let's check it out. Two trucks having sex. Two trucks having sex. My muscles, my muscles, involuntarily flex. So that was two trucks. And still alive, mashed up. Real talk, Neil and Jonathan Colton basically shaped my childhood. And uh, both of them make great nerdy music, and I love it. That sounded like a Modest Mouse song from like the 2000s a little bit. Like, with, like, the weird-sounding vocals um, that are kind of animated. Uh, the kind of, like, straight-ahead instrumental with just really impassioned singing over it. About just, like, ridiculous, weird, like, just random stuff. I definitely think the vocals at the tail end and the beginning are a little bit loud. And, yeah, the vocals are not really in the same key as the song, but I don't really care. I think it sounds good regardless. And I'd love to hear a collaboration between Neil and Jonathan Colton. That would be awesome. And also, I liked how you used the portal vocals in the song, too. And you chopped the Neil vocals up so they would fit the song. Good job. Next, we have a mashup from Bros to Snack Cakes. Legendary Memer. If you hear anything in the background, it's my mom doing some stuff for a party all right so it is unwound and charlie xcx let's go so that was claws turn inside you unwound and charlie xcx pitch is great vocals are balanced pretty well with the instrumental this is an absolute Grammy winner in an alternate reality. The auto-tuned vocals over the instrumental, it sounds like a better version of Lil Wayne's Rebirth album. Like, where that album just felt like tacky and kind of forced. This actually makes a little more sense. I don't know, I wish more rock bands would use, like, good auto-tuned vocals and didn't think of them as, like, bad. I know there are some, like, indie artists, like... No Vampire Weekend and Dirty Projectors have used some auto-tune, but it needs to make a comeback, man. Rock and auto-tuned vocals? I think it could work. Very good mashup. I don't really have a lot of complaints there. Um, yeah, it just sounds great. Next, we have a mashup from one of our friends from the Guitar Hero community. This is The Bad Guy Made Me Wait, which I would assume has Taylor Swift and Billie Eilish, but I'm not sure who the third person is, but I guess we'll have to see. Oh, it's Ying Yang Twins. All right, let's go. I'm super impressed with that one. I don't have a lot to say there. I love the Taylor and Billy combo, like, those two songs. Bad Guy is kind of like, look what you made me do done better, in my opinion. I mean, I think Taylor Swift instrumental kind of slaps, but... And I think the song might be a little bit overhated. So it makes sense that they'd be mashed up at a certain point, and they probably already have been. But, oh my god, that was a good fit. I think what really held it together... My favorite part of the mashup was the use of the Whisper song. The Whisper song is kind of like an early ASMR, like, rap, pop rap song. Yeah, I'm really impressed. Um, I think my only minor issue is that the vocals sound a little dry, sound like the original acapellas. Maybe add a little reverb if you have any reverb plugins. 
a small amount. And at certain points, the vocals might have been a little loud, like towards the beginning. But most of the time, the vocals were mixed pretty well. But overall, yeah, I, I dug that a lot. Um, very good job, Cosmic Latte. And uh, shout out to the Clone Hero community. You guys are the best. My donut supply is about to run out. In case you didn't know, that is the Dunkin' Donuts. Or Dunkin' Ghost Pepper Donut. Duncan didn't sponsor this video, by the way. But, Duncan, if you're watching, please sponsor me. I need money. I go to Dunk's, like, almost every day. It's my favorite coffee shop and donut shop in the world. Next up, from Rev Dragon with a J, we have Giving Cyber Demons Good Ideas. I do not know what the Cyber Demon song is, but let's see. Cyber Demon by Mick Gordon. Oh, it's the guy who did music for Doom. Oh, he's like a video game composer. Lit. And Giving Bad People Good Ideas, the opening track from Death Grip's album Bottomless Pit. Let's check it out. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm super impressed with that one too. You got the keys right basically, which is one of the few Death Grip songs where you have to be careful about the key with an acapella. Yeah, the sound play was great, sound design pretty amazing. I think the only thing I would suggest is that during the verses the vocals come down a little bit. But other than that, it's basically a 10 out of 10 mashup. Honestly, I feel like uh, David Diggs from Clipping would fit over this instrumental really well, too. We have a mashup from Devon, Ireland. It's Madness and Cardi B. Let's check it out. There's some whores in our house by Madness, Cardi B, Megan the Stallion. I think the video really makes up for anything that I have to say that's mildly critical of the mashup. And, I mean, the mashup itself is its a great concept. I only have two issues with this mashup. The pitch correction on the vocals to fit our house. Some of the time it was very good and on point. The pitches didn't always fit um, the instrumental. And the vocals from WAP were a little bit too loud. But other than that, I enjoyed it 100%. The video really added to it looks like you put a lot of effort into the video with masking and stuff that I used to be a lot better at with video making. Yeah, I, I see potential uh, in this mashup and in your work, and I enjoy it a lot. Next is a mashup from Hunter Forsberg. I wonder what it is. It's looking like Suicide Silence and Ghostbusters. This is going to be fun. Let's check it out. So that was a mashup between Suicide Silence and Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters theme. I think the mix of the vocals was perfect. It fit perfectly over the instrumental in terms of the mixing. It's a great idea. I think... My one issue is that the vocals don't sound 100% quantized. Find out the tempo of the Ghostbusters song. It's actually a little bit, like, it's like a weird number, but there is, I think it was done to a click. And I'm not sure if the Suicide Silence song was done to a click, but it probably was. Um, so find out the tempos of both songs and uh, just try to quantize each one to make it fit with the other. And... I mean, right now, it, it's very funny, and the mixing is great, but the quantizing leaves a little bit to be desired on my end, but I still think it's a great idea, and uh, can be improved upon. This is uh, under the SoundCloud name, Random Drafts. It is by Weeb Mashup Guy. Alright, let's check it out. That was Genie in a Bottle and Connect. The abrupt transition from the beginning definitely was a little bit shocking and unexpected, which was cool. They're both in similar enough keys 
There are a few notes that are a little different in uh, Genie in a Bottle by Gwen Stefani, but um, I don't think the tempo's 100% matched up. Um, I think at certain points the Gwen Stefani vocals were a little bit quiet and at certain points they were a little loud. Um, I do like how you used some of the original vocals at the beginning and the end, but um, it it needs a little bit of work before I can say it's really good, but um, I don't know, definitely improve upon the idea and uh, let me know when you do. and. Uh, I, I'd be interested to hear it again, but so far, good idea, good work. Next mashup from Vince Elliott is a mashup. Oh, it looks like Vince and Eric. Looks like there's going to be a DJ. There's going to be some scratching, some turntable action. I have never been good with turntables. I have a few friends who are, but uh, I'm very interested to see what this is like. Take Care by Drake, but it's a 70s disco banger. I'm not a huge Drake fan, but I like that era of Drake when things were a little more chill. All right. So that was Take Care by Drake, if it was a 70s disco banger. It definitely was. And uh, the scratching at the beginning, beautiful. I loved it. Yeah, this is really impressive stuff. Um, it's I Can Make It Better by The Whispers is the disco song. You picked the right Drake song for this because uh, Take Care has like a disco-y tempo. The instrumental is kind of chill. I think at the beginning Drake's vocals might have been slightly off on some of the beats, but I think that was just the way the acapella came. But other than that, it is... I, I'm very impressed with this. Your scratching abilities are great. Um, yeah. Hit me up if you ever want to like do some scratching on a work of mine, because I think you're really good. Next mashup is from Tim on Patreon. Just simply Tim. All right. Um, it comes from the band camp East Lawn, Rose Lawn by uh, Kelly Bowman. It's a, uh, looks like a very long... Plunderphonics Vapor Experimental Project from uh, Looks like Michigan Alright oh, That was really incredible uh, It reminded me of something John Oswald would do But like more chill and it's like plexure on downers, kind of. Yeah, every sample just like sounded really good, like in terms of like the mixing and the sound design. I loved like some of the uh, like MIDI usage of um, of like using like maybe like a hit from a song, and just throwing it into a sampler and just like playing like flight of the bumblebee or something like that the organ crazy train like crazy train when it was like an organ version that was incredible too the sound play on this top notch i don't really have anything negative to say about this um it keeps you engaged the whole time it's super like chill but super busy at certain times sometimes at the same time I think uh, you should like contact like Orange Milk Records or li record label like that. Um, like th this could get really big, I think, if you just like market it to the right people. You know, I am super impressed with this. Um, you have no idea. Next mashup is by Pierre Dental, who has submitted mashups to this uh, program before. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's listen. Uh, this has been a good mashup day, and I know this is a long video, but I am enjoying the hell out of this. Um, this is probably the most fun I've had doing the mashup review so far. Everyone's just, like, bringing their creative A game. Like, they're all, like, really creative. There's obviously a lot of heart that goes into them, and honestly, I'm super happy about that. It's beautiful stuff. We got a Rick Astley and Bag Raiders mashup. Now, I think I've seen this mashup before. Someone has definitely made this mashup before, but 
I am open to people remaking mashups. You can remake any mashup of mine. Um, like, if you put your own spin on it, and you don't just re-upload, you can mess with any combinations that I've already messed with. This has been a bit of a contentious topic on uh, Twitter, but, you know, I really wish that, uh, you know, the old heads of the mashup community would kind of come around and realize that you can't treat your mashup like it's an original body of work when basically we're all we're all going to copyright jail no matter what um, you can't really view any derivative work as original and uh, I think it's just a little hypocritical all right never gonna shooting stars Rick Astley and bag Raiders here we are. Never gonna give you up. 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 Never gonna let you down. Pierre, that is probably my favorite mashup of yours. Yeah, I think the combination was great. The editing was great. Nothing to complain about pitch wise. Rhythm wise, everything was perfect. This was. Probably the closest you've come to a perfect mashup, and I would recommend it to anyone who um, just wants to hear this combination of songs. This is the definition of taking a mashup that's been done and putting your own spin on it, because this is this is beautiful. I really enjoyed this. I think the vocals can get drowned out a little bit, uh, so maybe they could be a little bit louder or placed in the mix differently so they... Uh, can like kind of wiggle their way around the synthesizers but oh my god I'm really impressed um, that is my favorite mashup of yours but I think you can outdo it I, anyone can outdo their best work you know if you just set your mind to it four more mashups I know this is a long review but uh, I don't know I just want to get as many requests done as I can this next mashup is from Matt McCall. Looks like it's Bad Fire. Oh, it looks like it's a mashup between Billy Joel and Theory of a Dead Man. I think they're now called Theory, but whatever. Yeah, Theory of a Dead Man are a super entertaining band for me. They're like... I mean, I, I'm also like a Nickelback apologist, so maybe I, I lose some hipster points for that, but I don't really care. I love... Um, some theory of a dead man sometimes like sometimes when i'm in the mood to just feel the nostalgia i'll put on hate my life or bad girlfriend or uh they, i think they have a song with chris daughtry <laughs> bad fire let's check it out AFK, blown away. What else do I have to say? Shaker. Shaker. i'm gonna be honest i thought that mashup was not gonna be good i was totally wrong and, I mean, they're in two different keys. Uh, Bad Girlfriend is like kind of like a D blues type of thing. And We Didn't Start the Fire is in G major. So it was a little weird that they both like worked pitch-wise perfectly. The mixing was pretty good. I liked how you used the th Tyler Connolly's vocals at the end. Towards the tail end of each verse, Billy Joel kind of sounds... Like a Tyler Connolly, Chad Kroger type a little bit. Or like a precursor when he like kind of gets into his range. And uh, I don't know. I think this is a really good combo. Lyrically, I don't know how much the songs have in common. Which makes it even funnier. But yeah, I mean, this is like one of those examples of bad taste and amazing execution. Good job. Next mashup is Jet ill radio and uh, it looks like it's a mashup between uh, jet set slash grind radio and uh, beastie boys and the mashup looks like it's by sine wave and this this seems like it's like actually like a pretty classic like mashup um, it looks like it's 30 minutes long so tell you what I'm gonna pause the video and uh, listen to the whole thing. Oh,
So that was more of like a mashup album. So I did skip through a little bit. So the mashup album was put together by Psychosis, also known as Neutral Bling Hotel, which I forgot about. Neutral Bling Hotel in my G4 over the sea. Check it out. It's one of the funniest mashup albums I've ever heard. It is Neutral Milk Hotel with just random uh, hip hop songs just thrown over it. Um, it. It's a crazy album. In my G4 over the sea is something that can be like ironically appreciated. But this mashup album is like even better than uh, In My G4 Over the Sea because it's unironically pretty good, pretty fitting combos all around. I enjoyed the hell out of it, and uh, I think you should all check it out because it's good stuff. Some of the instrumentals sounded like some like Hello Nasty uh, or um, Hot Sauce Committee Part 2 type instrumentals, and I really enjoyed that second to last mashup is from DJ Access and it looks like it is Ed Sheeran and Within Temptation mashed up I don't know any Within Temptation songs uh, but I know the Ed Sheeran song in question, let's check it out Did you really have to put the up the up intro in there oh my god oh I mean the mashup was really good um, I was impressed with it uh, mixing wise and the tune was perfect it was perfectly executed it, it's kind of like like 2000s rock meets like meets like maybe like a hair ballad but oh my god, you um, you made the Ed Sheeran song a lot better, in my opinion. And it sounds like a real song 100%. But you're going to make a lot more people cry with that uh, up intro. God damn. <laughs> Alright, one more mashup. Hopefully it doesn't make me cry. Um, and it looks like we have something with Hatsune Miku. Some Vocaloid stuff. Um, let's check it out. So that was a Hatsune Miku mashup, which you can find the link in the description. Looks like it's about a decade old. It was very good. Thank you for the recommendation. Genuinely enjoyed that. And uh, I, I mean, the two songs complemented each other well. Like, even though like it was two vocals at the same time, they kind of made sense. And uh, they were mixed pretty well, and uh, I liked the uh, animation of Hatsune Miku uh, just like waving this leak around. Um, good stuff. All right, thank you so much, guys. Um, thank you for sticking around, and uh, thank you for donating mashups. I appreciate you all. Um, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.